All right. Well, we want to have uh, our pencils well sharpened for a seamless and efficient drawing experience. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take the blade, which we have reversed for storage in our X-Acto knife, flip it, and tighten it. Now, let's do the layout pencil first. That's the 2 or the 3H. You're going to want to cut four equal sides. So, one. You see how I hold it with one hand? <laughs> Look at that dimple on my thumb. Hold it with one hand and exert pressure with the thumb of the same hand that you hold the pencil with. This way, your arm isn't flying off with the knife in it. So, we cut four sides evenly. Don't worry about a sharp point. Once the, once the wood of the pencil is removed from the four sides, then move your hand further down the pencil and just use some light, repetitive sharpening motions as you rotate the pencil. This will result in a nice even tip that is long lasting for your layout tasks. Now, the next thing we're going to do is sharpen our broad nib pencil. That's the pencil with the taper on it here that gives you a lot of versatility. You can use the sharp end of it to make a hard, dark line that's very narrow. Um, and you can also use that broad nib for shading uh, and emphasis. So, um, Let's take a pencil that we want to use for those broad stroke techniques. This is a 2B. It's going to be a B, a 2B, a 3B, one of the darker, uh, blacker pencils. Um, now, same thing. Hold the pencil in your hand and uh, use the thumb of the same hand to push on the pommel of the X-Acto knife. So let's break that off. So we've got a dull, broken pencil here. Um, I'm going to cut the two opposite sides. So I cut one side down. You notice how it's not a straight cut, it's a curve. Um, I do that by rotating m my blade as I cut it. So the right hand rotates, the left thumb pushes. Let's see how that works. Okay. Now. At this point, I just have a taper. Notice that one side of the taper is much narrower than the other side. That narrower side is going to be the top of my chisel shape. It's on the tip. So the narrowest side gets the top of the chisel. The reason we do that is so that the uh, point that results is the sharpest possible point. Then we just take off that excess wood on the two other sides, and we have that chisel shape. 